Hello, everybody. Welcome to Watch Creative by a Labs video about immune system and immune therapy. At this part, we are going to talk about a very important step before the well-established CAR T cell can be used in clinical stage, which we call CAR T cell validation. Chimeric antigen T cell is a new therapeutic technology. Its evaluation method is still full with uncertainties. The therapeutic mechanism of CAR T technology is not being fully elucidated. Besides, CAR T therapy is a personalized therapy. Its quality and efficacy are highly depending on patient individual variation. No widely accepted universal standards, nor evaluation guidelines from similar products can be referenced for now. Although no existing protocol can be used, CAR T cell products validation assays both in vitro and in vivo are still essential for CAR T cell therapy development. Most CAR T therapies to date have been experimental and performed under academic standards. Only a few therapies are approved for market. Quality control testing of CAR-T products use mainly biological assays. The production process of CAR-T products involves a variety of different biotechnologies, including gene editing, plasmid construction, cell transfection, cell culture and cell identification, so its validation and quality control assay are also very diverse and complex. Nonetheless, Dr. Bruce L. Levine from University of Pennsylvania, concluded in his review published on cancer gene therapy in 2015, that four characteristics of CAR-T products must be certified at preclinical and clinical stage, safety and sterility, purity, potency and identity. Most of the CAR-T validation assay can be summarized as tests for at least one of these four aspects. Sterility and safety test is to use preclinical experiments and in process or final product testing, to ensure the removal of reagents that were used in the manufacturing process, and the final product is free from contaminating microorganisms. Sterility issue mainly concerned that the raw materials are sterile, free of endotoxin, bacteria, fungi and mycoplasma. This is tested by regular microbial testing methods. The safety issue is much more complex. Cytokine release syndrome, on target off tumor toxicity and neurological toxicity are all very important safety issue of CAR-T therapy. Cytokine release can be tested by multi-cytokine ELISA assay, on target off tumor toxicity can be tested by cell content and histological assay. The mechanism of neurological toxicity remains unknown, no specific assay method could be used. Besides these, replication competent lentivirus is also a potential safety issue. Although the third generation lentiviral vector system minimizes the risk of RCL, P24, GAG and TET gene PCR are still necessary assays to avoid risk. Since CAR T therapy cure patients through ray infusion the engineer T cell back into the patient's body, the infusion cell purity is very important. Not only microbial contamination affects the purity of CAR T cell products, other non-effect cells types and reagent contamination, introduced during sample treatment also affect the purity of CAR T cells. The cell impurities could be probed by cell marker antibodies and sorting by fax. The reagent residue could be removed by washing multiple times. The above two aspects are to ensure CAR T cells are harmless to the human body, and the latter two aspects are to ensure that CAR T cells are effective of anti-tumor activity. Identity is to establish and certify the CAR T cell product characteristics. For example, the CAR surface expression and CAR transfection efficiency, which can be verified by fax and qPCR. Potency is the hardest part of CAR-T cell validation assay. These tests is to examine whether the therapeutic capability of the cell product will be as it was intended. There are multiple product critical quality attributes need to be measured. Chimeric receptor expression level can be measured by flow cytometry. Cytokine production level can be measured by ELISA or LISPOT. T cell proliferation and expansion capability can be measured by MTT assay and animal model. Target tumor cell killing ability can be measured by fax and T cell killing assay and so on. However, one of the most important characteristic, CAR T cell long-term efficacy may not be confirmed until later phase 2 or phase 3 clinical trials. From this point of view, the potency evaluation assay should be carried out along with the clinical trial until the end of the CAR T therapy. With the development of CAR-T technology and the urgent need of CAR-T product commercialization, the evaluation method of CAR-T product is also progressing. There are some emerging techniques developed to improve the efficiency of CAR-T cells manufacturing. For example, artificial antigen-presenting cells are developed from K562 cells. These artificial APCs have been shown to result in increased activation and expansion of T cells, compared with the traditional magnetic bead-based activation method. We should believe that in the near future, the relevant regulatory authorities and industry experts will accumulate enough experience to introduce a comprehensive assessment guide, 
to regulate the production and validation of CAR T-cell products. Creative Biolabs is a veteran CRO company with years of experience in technical services and production of CAR-T products, has many experienced scientists and one-stop CAR-T service technical platform. We professionally perform multiple evaluations on the post-transfection CAR-T cells to verify the solid success of CAR-T construction and superior function, and design and operate a full range of validation assay services according to the client's T-cells engineered objective. The featured service includes CAR T cell in vitro assay service and preclinical in vivo assay as follow. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or need more detailed information about CAR T cell validation assays, please do not hesitate to contact us by email or visit our website. We are more than happy to help you with your CAR T project.